What's going on, guys? It's Cole, and welcome to GPS Season 10, Week 4. So last week, we unfortunately lost to the Florida for Alligators. And this week, like I said last week, we go up against Andrew and Paris St. German Yon. So let's check out his team, shall we? Alright, so for his S tier, he has... The Paradox Pokemon Iron Hands for his A tier. He has another Paradox Pokemon in Brute Bonnet. For his B tiers, he has Hatterene, Dedunsparce, and Mail and Didi. For his C tiers, he has Frost Rotom, Flareon, Clawitzer, and Fortress. So a lot of the members of his team are very slow. So since we have some speed on our team, I'm not I won't be surprised if he brings Trick Room. Which is why we are bringing a choice specs Toad Scroll, but that also has Trick Room. So on the off chance that he decides to, that I think he's going to use it, I will be going for Trick Room, and because of Mycelia Might, we will underspeed him. Therefore, we will be uh, resetting Trick Room on the turn that he uses it, and if he doesn't use it, well, that would be unfortunate. But anyway, so we are basically going to be bringing the same team as last week, as you can see on screen already. So, alright, I will see you guys in the battle. Alright, so we are getting ready to battle with Andrew. So the team that we're bringing is the one that we've brought for the last couple of weeks. Rotom, Garchomp, Lycanroc, Toad Scroll, Hippowdon, and Bombardier. So Hippowdon still has its red card, Toad Scroll still has its choice specs. Lycanroc is Terra Poison and has the choice band. Bombardier has the covert cloak. Easy Bake has the life orb, and Garchomp has an assault vest. off with Bombardier and Rotom, with Lycanroc, and Toad Scroll in the back. So Toad Scroll, even though it has choice specs, also has Trick Room, because in case he decides to use it, the following turn I can just use it to reset trick room so he leads off with Hatterene and the Dun Sparse what I should have done is parting shot at his Hatterene because I forgot it has magic bounce because then parting shot would have forced it out Overheat does over half. As Bombardier's taunt gets bounced back because of course it does, because I forgot about that. And Dedun Sparse gets a free coil. D-Gleam does almost half of Bombardier's health. So Hatterene protects. As Rotom Volt switches on Dedun Sparse.
as I swap into Toad Scroll. Bombardier's Persona gets protected. And the Dense Parse hits a Rock Slide, killing Bombardier. So we bring Rotom back in. As I go for a Sludge Bomb on, Hat on Hatterene. So our overheat brings the Dunsparce basically down to almost like 1 HP. The Sludge Bomb will kill Hatterene. And Hyper Drill kills Rotom. So we send the rock. As Crunch kills the Dunn Sparse and Sludge Bomb does less than half on Boop on it, it will kill like a rock. So, not a great game for me. So now it's Iron Hands and Brute Bonnet versus Toad Scroll. So we get faked out, and Bullet Seed will kill Toad Scroll. So I will see you guys in game two.
so we are once again leading off with Bombardier and Easy Bake. And we are not bringing land to Joey. So he leads off with Ndidi Hatterene. And what I thought he was going to do was follow me and trick room with Hatterene. So what I should have done is just taunted the Ndidi. So I brought electric terrain so the psychic moves can't get boosted. But instead when I should have taunted just on the off chance that he went for because now he protects his Hatterene and gets a free trick room off So yeah, um, it doesn't go well for me. We're just gonna lead off with that. So Ndidi gets off the helping hand. Dazzling Gleam ki almost kills Bombardier, does not too much on Easy Bake. Because it was a crit on Bombardier. I taunt it now. Easy Bake's Volt Switch. Does a some decent chunk. I probably should have just overheated. We sent out Gontrol. And yes, I know, I have Protect on Amon with an Assault Vest. I was kind of hoping he was at one point going to trick that off of me. I was trying to be, you know, cheeky, but obviously that's not going to happen. Dazzling Gleam does an okay amount of damage to Garchomp. As Hyper Voice does a small amount of damage as well. Poison Jab will almost kill the Hatterene. Because, you know, what is it with his things living on like 2 HP? Switch guard chomp out, I go back into Rotom. And Dazzling Gleam will kill Bombardier. And Hyper Voice will kill Rotom. So yeah, like I said, once Trick Room got up, it was over. There's literally nothing I can do. So, as we continue on with this losing battle, uh, next week, which is going to be Friday, 
we will be going up against the Sin City Squirtles. Alright, so we will finish off this battle, and then I will see you guys next week. So for some reason I just decided, ah, I'll tear a poison hat. Or like rock. Because I'm like, I'm going to lose no matter what, so it doesn't matter. And it's over. Alright. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week. Later. Bye-bye.